right guys, before the video begins, I just wanna say, if you didn't know, this is a brand new channel. So the chances are you're not subscribed. So make sure to click that subscribe button. And in the words of my grandpa, <laughs> bitch. and follow me on my social media pages. That's Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. cock a doodle do. B, 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 B. B, B, B. So the new ZO219s have just been released on sale on their website for a lot cheaper than its predecessor, the OG ZO2s that were priced anywhere from $500 to $1,000. The new ZO2s are now at $200, but they still won't ship until February 1st. And the $200 price tag is a lot more affordable than the $500 and $1,000 price tag, but at the same time, it's still pretty pricey considering the reviews the originals got, which were uh pretty bad. To be honest, the new Jello should be free too since he don't like paying for anything either i mean whatever price tag they put the jellos at it's gonna be a steal That joke's all my fault. So before you ask, yes, I did order a pair of the ZO219s, but knowing B, B, B and their business practices, who knows when I'll get them. This is a fake Big Baller brand shirt, by the way, that I got from Wish. <laughs> so maybe I'll get them in early February, or maybe I won't even see them until August. Or I might just never see them, and I just wasted $200. So I'm like, F that. I'm gonna take matters into my own hands and make my own Big Baller brand shoe. So which shoe would be the easiest to make? It'll be a DIY Mellow Ball 1. So if you don't know, Big Baller Brand actually teamed up with Brand Black, which is why their shoes look so similar to Brand Black shoes. The Mellow Ones retail anywhere from $3.95 to $5.95. And this silhouette of the Brand Blacks is called the Rare Metal. But I got it from Nordstrom Rack at $39.97. A whole lot cheaper than $395 to $595. As you can see, I bought a pair right here. You can see that it looks really similar to the Mellow One. And just like that, DIY Big Baller Brand Mellow Ones. That concludes the video, everybody. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, we out. Peace. All right, I'll do more with the shoe. Welcome to Evan's Arts and Crafts time. As you can see, we went to the store, got the paint, and now we're gonna paint these brand black shoes into the mellow ones. And because it takes a while, you know how we do, we're gonna do a sexy slow-mo musical montage. By the time this ends, the shoes will be painted. see why Big Ball Brand takes so long to ship out their shoes. It takes a long time to paint all these shoes, man. There's still something missing about this shoe. I can't put my finger on it. So I have gathered a group of experts who will tell me what to do with these shoes. And they actually call themselves the big ballers who can't afford big baller merch but overcompensate by obsessing over LeVar Ball and the big baller brand squad. I have gathered them to help me brainstorm ideas for the finishing touches of the shoe. Can I afford a big baller brand? No, but I love LeVar and I've memorized everything he's ever said. Never lost. I'm undefeated, never lost. I also like his teeth. So why do you like Big Baller Brand? I just think that mom's hot, to be honest with you. Okay guys, through countless hours of research, through analyzing the analytics of what makes Big Baller Brand, Big Baller Brand, me and the We Can't Afford Big Baller Brand to so overcompensate by obsessing over the bar and uh, 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 the Big Baller Brand squad. We have come up with a final solution on how to make the Mellow Ones, the Mellow Ones. Now introducing ladies and gentlemen, the DIY Big Baller Brand Mellow One. Life is sweet.
Mellow dip in the lamb dipping, got his own shoe cause it's only fitting. Big baller brand, yeah, we do it different. This was all part of Big Baller's vision. He the youngest to do it. I'm rapping, he hooping, I'm passing, he shooting the game. We polluting, we rapping the movement. We not with the losing, we ready for war. We triple, we troops. thousand years later. Mellow dip in the lamb dipping, got his own shoe cause it's only fitting. Big baller brand, yeah we do it different, this was all part of Big Baller's vision. He the youngest to do it, I'm rapping, he hooping, I'm passing, he shooting the game, we polluting, we rapping the movement, we not with illusion, we ready for war, we triple, we troops. Mellow ball one, youngest in the game, only 16 in the lamb, and he switching lanes, got the Gucci shades, and be once inside the black paint, headed to the top, smash the gas and accelerate. History is dependent on the new generation to write the next chapter, and that time is now. You know, these actually might look better than the real MB1s. I didn't want to make it exactly like the MB1s, and obviously I could have took it to a customizer, but that's not a real DIY, you gotta pay people for that, and I ain't about to pay someone to do that for me. So of course, I put the Big Baller LeVar stickers on the shoe because he's Big Baller personified. They're custom BBB too. If Virgil can draw in his shoes, I can too. And you know how Nikes have the Velcro patches on the shoes, either on the swoosh or on the tongue. Man, F all that. I got the Big Baller brand stickers that are customizable. You can take these off, put them anywhere you want. Boom, boom, boom. There, there, there. There and they stick they don't come off when you play so people when they look down at your shoes They're gonna be like that's a big baller right there and before you even say anything No, I'm not hating on big baller brand in fact actually after this little experiment I probably even respect them even more now because I understand how much it takes into creating a shoe It took us dumb long to customize it and paint it Can you imagine how long LeVar and his sons were painting their shoes for people don't get on them when they say they're gonna release the shoes at a certain time There's gonna be a delay man trust me, but on the real guy as you guys know what this channel is about, I'm always about finding cheaper alternatives to expensive shoes. And yes, I clown them only if they deserve to be clowned and if they suck and almost injure me. But I give honest reviews on how I play in them and how I felt in them. You don't have to have expensive shoes to play well in basketball. And for me personally, anything over $200 is way too much for basketball shoes. So not only do I review the cheap shoes, I DIY the shoes too. Boom. So for real, buy the brand Blacks for $300, $400 cheaper than the actual big baller brands and just DIY. And as you can see, it's pretty damn accurate. Cut to the B-roll. Honestly speaking, no bias whatsoever. This is the sexiest shoe I've ever seen in my life, man. Oh my goodness. Like, if I could play in it all the time, I would, but I don't want to ruin it, man. You know, it decreases value. I changed a $30, $40 shoe to a $1,000 shoe real quick. And it's very accurate, if not a little better than the MB ones, as I previously said. And obviously, when you do a DIY, guys, don't expect it to look as good as mine, man. You know, because as you can see, man, I'm a DIY expert. You know, some people say, why you ain't glue the stickers on? Cause, well, then you can't take it off and reapply it. <laughs> Try not to compare your little arts and crafts project to my work of art, my masterpiece, you know. People, lower your standards a little bit. Alright guys, that concludes the video. Let me know what you think of my DIY Mellow Ball ones, Big Baller Brand ones. Let me know if I should do more of these DIY videos. I had fun doing it with the homies. Watch my other videos up there and down there. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, hey, let me know if anybody wants these for uh, Christmas. Maybe I'll do a giveaway. Or Hanukkah too.